Howdy Radiant Church, Pastor Lee here, and I have some exciting news. Many of you have asked, hey, what are the plans for Radiant Church regathering in our campuses, Richland and Portage, once again? Well, we have a plan, and I want to roll that out to you very quickly about how we are going to begin the process of regathering together in our buildings as Radiant Church. But before I do that, let me just say thank you. Thanks to all of you who have stayed engaged, who have been faithful in giving. We could have never foreseen the last two and a half months ever as a time where we would be challenged and have to trailblaze and innovate and adapt because of the epidemic and the once in a lifetime pandemic that we were experiencing. And I'm so proud of Radiant Church, how we have come together uh, our online services have been stronger than they've ever been. We're reaching people we would have never reached before. And you guys are praying with us every single day. I'm so proud to be a pastor and to be part of a spiritual family called Radiant. With that said, though, we've been praying and really seeking God, as well as seeking professionals in our community health services, doctors, nurses, and professionals to help gauge when it would be appropriate for us to regather. And obviously, now the state of Michigan is beginning to open up restaurants, casinos, uh, day camps for kids, those types of things. And those are some of the metrics that we've been looking at. Our elders, senior team have been praying. I've been asking God, and uh, we really believe that he has spoken to us and given us a timeline. So here's how it's going to go. We are going to continue in June with our watch parties. What an opportunity it is for us here in June to invite some people from our neighborhood, from our world, now that the quarantine has been lifted, invite them over on Saturday nights or Sunday mornings to watch the surface, worship together, and have some food together. It may be an opportunity for you to share your faith or to invite them to receive Jesus or to reconnect with God after a long period of time. We're going to do that through the month of June. On June 28th, Sunday night, at both of our campuses, we are going to have a night of worship and prayer together. Stay tuned for more details on that, but it's going to be at both of our campuses. This is going to be our first step back into our campuses, and we want to go back into them with prayer and worship, being at the forefront of what we do, celebrating what God has done and lifting up his name. So that's going to be on Sunday night. June 28th. The following weekend is the holiday weekend. That's July 4th and 5th. We are going to resume scheduled service times Saturday night, Sunday morning at both of our campuses without children's ministry, without children's ministry on that weekend of the 4th and the 5th. The following weekend, which is July 11th and 12th, we are going to resume our scheduled services Saturday night, Sunday morning, with children's ministry. And so that's going to bring us back to a standard of our services and our scheduled service times that we had before we went into our shelter-in-place uh, situation. Now, with all of that said, I know that many of you are not ready to come back yet, and we want you to know that's absolutely fine. When you do come back, we're going to have sanitization processes for all of our building before, during, and after our services. We're going to have increased hand sanitizer available. We will have masks available for those who would like them. We're not going to require you to wear a mask. That's simply up to you. And several other things that we're going to do to kind of mitigate and have a touchless service to the best of our ability. We're not going to be hugging and greeting each other with a holy kiss. We're going to be giving elbows, fist bumps, and you know virtual hugs and high fives. Uh, for a while, but we are going to be regathering, we are going to be singing, we are going to be lifting up the name of Jesus, and we are going to be praying for the sick. So we're going to be doing those things in our services. For those of you, though, who feel like, I'm not ready to come back yet. Maybe you're immunocompromised, maybe you don't feel well, maybe you're elderly and don't want to put yourself in that situation, or maybe you just simply want to take a slower approach to being in gatherings. We get that, and we want you to know that our online services and ministries are still going to be strong and available, and our online presence is going to be what it has been. So you may decide to take a little bit slower approach to it and continue to join us and engage online. That's up to you. Here's what we're saying to everybody. 
The Bible says in Romans 8, the sons of God are those who are led by the Spirit of God. You need to be led by the Holy Spirit, whether it's online or in person. But here's what I want you to know. We are radiant. We are one family, and our best days are ahead of us. So stay tuned for more details to come in the next several weeks. We're looking forward to gather with you once again.